let's enter the basement Dano Dungeon, okay? Today, we have lots of cool stuff, okay? We have three brand new figures to open up We're gonna be taking a look at our dinosaur transforming collection Because we have a new Dilophosaurus right here At the same time, we'll take a look at a different species of prehistoric flying reptiles We'll take a look at this awesome McDonald's Happy Meal set Inside this egg, we are going to hatch 20 carnivorous dinosaurs as well as herbivorous dinosaurs which are all lying right here on the floor Are you guys ready? Let's get started Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon Yes, today we have lots of cool stuff as I've shown you guys just now, okay? So are you guys ready? Because today is Saturday which means we have the most epic video of the week Watch the entire video because we have some cool updates at the end of the video, okay? So let's get started Alright guys, are you ready? So check out the new items right here We have plenty of cool stuff, okay? So the first figure, let's open this This is a super rare, you know, battle damage from the lost raptor We got it quite some time ago But we've always kept it in this box So today we are going to release it And we are going to place this figure back into, you know Jurassic World Midland Shelf together with the other Velociraptor So yep, extremely rare Let's get this out Wow, it's looking pretty good So I've never really seen this before It was never on sale in the stores And I got this off eBay at quite an expensive price But this is a beautiful figure that I definitely need to have Yep, it's a black Velociraptor with, You know, it's a grey Velociraptor with black stripes It looks really good Beautiful stuff. Okay, so Velociraptor, they are basically known as the Swift Caesar or the Speedy Teeth. Okay, next up, let's have a look. Have you guys seen this? So, in my previous video, I've actually shown you guys this one, which is the Transformer Dilophosaurus. And you can actually spot, you know, the head right here. So, this can actually be transformed into a robot. And that's the robot head right over there. Okay, we'll take a look at this figure later on because now we are going to take a look at this Flying Pterosaur I almost said Pteranodon Yep, Flying Pterosaur is actually a Quetzalcoatlus so let's get this out of the box Okay, so let's have a look at this I think we have to assemble this um, Quetzalcoatlus so let's do this and it's actually battery operated if I'm not wrong Okay, let's cut this open So I think you have to place batteries into this figure and then you have to hang it on your ceiling For it to actually spin around but we won't be doing that because um, You have to hang it and I don't think we have the time to do it right now So we just need to fix this Let's do this Okay, so the head will go right here And the body I think we have to put the wings in as well Like this Looks kind of cool Okay, and then you have to put the body over Like this Alright guys, check this out. This is basically the Quetzalcoatlers. I've placed the batteries in and tied a little string right here, but we won't be attaching it to our ceiling for now. And uh, let's turn this on, and you can see there's a propeller right at the back. So let's see whether this works. Okay, I don't think it works, <laughs> I mean for, for now, because um, the strings is actually like too, too short. So let's try to like, you know, spin it around, I guess. Yeah, I think this is supposed to move like this Okay, if you hang it on your ceiling, it's supposed to spin like this Which is going to be quite cool Alright Okay, so now let's move on to our next figure Which is the Pteranodon This Pteranodon is also one that I have been searching high and low for You know, we do have the bigger version But we don't have this small one Which is a battle damage so let's get this out 
and we'll take a look at all the different species of prehistoric flying reptiles later on. So, yep, we have a new battle damaged pteranodon. It's not exactly a new figure, but this figure was very, very hard for, for, for us to find, and we finally found it on eBay. Yes, I finally got this at quite an expensive price, but I'm happy to add this to my collection. Okay, it's time for us to take a look at some of our figures hidden inside the egg, okay? So let's have a look at what's inside this gigantic egg right here. So, yep, let's hatch this egg. There will be plenty of different minis, and for each mini, we'll take a look at the adult version, okay? So let's pick and choose one figure. I'm gonna go with the, um, how about this one right here? Tyrannosaurus Rex, this is actually the Captive Collection JP 30th Anniversary Tyrannosaurus Rex. And speaking of that, we actually have this one, which is the real few Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure is awesome, you can actually fit it, fit it with different minifigures. Let's try this, let's try this. Is it able to fit? Kind of big. Okay, probably not. Let's choose like a smaller version, maybe like a little Lytrosaurus right here, okay? Lytrosaurus. So just pop it right in to the throat. It's kind of like soft, so it doesn't scratch, you know, the figure. And out comes Lytrosaurus from its belly. Very cute little one. And this is perhaps one of my most favorite Tyrannosaurus Rex. It actually has a button right here. You can't really see it. It is like a hidden button. So try this. And it will actually roar very, very loudly. Okay, so that's the first figure that we have hatched. The second one is basically the Lytrosaurus. Okay, Lytrosaurus. Is it a herbivore or is it an omnivore? I want you guys to comment down below. So for the Lytrosaurus, I've actually brought the one and only Lytrosaurus. Okay, just give me a second. It's right here. Check this out. A beautiful Lytrosaurus. This figure came along with Macy. Okay, next, let's have a look at some dinosaur transforming figures right here. Okay, so last week, we actually opened this and it actually came with this vehicle right here. Okay, and this vehicle can be transformed into a robot as well. Very neat. And right here, we have the one, the other one from Hasbro. So this Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex can also be transformed into a vehicle. Very nice one. Okay, next, let's transform one of these eggs into a dinosaur. Okay, and this is actually known as the Fierce Changers. Fierce Changers Hatchling. We have an Indominus Rex right here. Looks pretty good, I would say. Okay, Indominus Rex. Did we bring an Indominus Rex? I think so. And besides that, I've also placed this metallic Indominus Rex in the egg right there. Okay, Indominus Rex, of course, I have brought the one and only, the most beautiful and the most epic Indominus Rex of all time. Camouflage and battle Indominus Rex. I think this is so far the best ever Indominus Rex figure, okay? So you press this button, you can see the entire dinosaur glows in green. Why is it green? Because from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, okay, not Fallen Kingdom, from the very first Jurassic World movie, the Indominus Rex, you know, hide inside the jungle and it was able to camouflage. So the green is basically to simulate the camouflaging abilities when it is hiding in the forest or the jungle. Okay, next, let's take a look at this set right here. I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen my review of, of this, which is the Hammond Collection Steven Spielberg set right here. It comes with a Dilophosaurus. The Dilophosaurus is actually the same as, you know, the one from um, the Hammond Collection. So it's not a new figure, I would say, but still a fantastic set right over there. Okay, so today we have like two new prehistoric flying reptiles, Quatlers as well as Pteranodon. So it's important for us to take a look at some of the other species. We have a Tapijara right here. 
Sunga Ripterus. I want you guys to like comment like how many species you guys can actually remember. Okay, Tupan Dactylus. So it has a huge crest, which looks very similar to the um, Tapijara. We also have a Ramphering Curse, which is a very unique species. The teeth are all pointing outwards. And Pteranodon, this is actually a Soundstripe Pteranodon. Beautiful one, I love this. Last but not least, okay, we have two more right here actually. Joe Sternbergia, that actually looks a little bit like a Pteranodon and a Dimorphodon. So these are the different species of prehistoric flying reptiles. Okay, next up, what shall we take a look at? Let's hatch another figure. This time, I'm not going to look. Let's have a look at this. Therizinosaurus. Let's have a look at a Therizinosaurus. Wow, we haven't seen this figure for quite some time. The Slash and Battle Therizinosaurus. Let's see whether the sounds are still working well. Okay, it's a little bit weird because it doesn't really seem to roar when I tilt the body. Perhaps the batteries are weak. So I'm definitely going to change the batteries right now. Let's, let's try this. Alright guys, I've changed the batteries and it is becoming the noisiest ever dinosaur in my collection. Check this out. Yep, it's very loud and it's very, very noisy and it's very sensitive, which is why sometimes I remove the batteries. So Therizinosaurus is known as the scythed lizard. It is a dinosaur with huge and long claws, which is awesome. And you guys still remember, it actually destroyed quite a number of dinosaurs in Jurassic World Dominion. Do you guys remember? Yep. He actually killed a goat, if I'm not wrong, some of the dinosaurs as well as the Giganotosaurus. Just sliced right through the Giga. That was incredible, an epic scene. Okay, next up, let's have a look at this set. Not too sure whether you guys have seen this set for you know a long time. It's a very cute and adorable set. So there's a McDonald's Happy Meal set, and they act like Savage Strike figures. Parasaurolophus, the near crested lizard. We have Ankylosaurus right here, which is so adorable. It looks like Bumpy. I think it is Bumpy because this is actually from Camp Cretaceous. We also have Baryonyx Chaos right here, so you can actually move this beautiful figure. We have the T-Rex. T-Rex basically moves by the tail, I think. Let's try. I can't remember how it works. Yeah, there you go. Super cute. They're all from McDonald's. Okay, but I think in McDonald's, not every country will have the entire set. So I had to get the entire set from eBay. Oh uh, yeah, because in my country, which is Singapore, we only had like four figures, I think. Or was it like six? I can't remember. But we definitely did not have the entire set. And Stegosaurus, awesome stuff. Okay, next up. So just now I've shown you guys the real few Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, this is actually the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary figure. So what I'm gonna do right now is basically to show you guys all the other figures from the 30th anniversary collection, okay? We have a Dilophosaurus right here that comes with a capture gear. So you can actually remove this. Looks really beautiful. And this Dilophosaurus doesn't have the frill because the frills are actually right here. It's not open up yet. So we can actually close this right, right back. Oops, we have to close the jaw first. Okay, beautiful one. You can see chains around the arms as well as the legs. The other one is a really beautiful, oops, let me just try to make it stand. The other one is basically the Galley Mimers. Beautiful one. And um, similarly, it has the capture gear on the head, arms, and the lips. Okay, the one that I really like is definitely the Scutosaurus. Okay, it doesn't have any mechanism, doesn't have any buttons, so it's basically like a, um, you know, danger pack figure. But still looks really good, love this. And I think we still have one more, which is a little baby Triceratops that comes with a little hander for you to carry him. So adorable. Okay, next up, let's hatch a few more figures. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we, let's hatch two. Oranosaurus versus Dilophosaurus. Who will win in a battle? Let me know down below. Firstly, let's take a look at what we've brought for the Oranosaurus, which is known as the Brave Lizard. This is a raw attack figure, so it comes with three notches of actions. Okay. 
very cool. Love this figure a lot. Oranosaurus. I think it's a really beautiful dark built dinosaur. So check this is basically dark build. It looks like the mouth of a duck. The Lophosaurus. Let's see what I've brought. I've actually brought this one right here, which is the Epic Battle. So it has been some time since we have new figures. So hopefully, hopefully in the next few weeks we'll be able to get some of the new figures. Epic Battle, the Lophosaurus. Check this out. Awesome and beautiful figure. You press this, you can see the entire body lights up. Looks really, really gorgeous. Okay, gonna place this one right over here. Okay, next up, time for us to transform a few more dinosaurs. Okay, let's transform this and Kylosaurus into a carnivore. I'm not too sure which carnivore it actually transformed into. I can't remember. Let's have a look. It's either a Tyrannosaurus Rex or a Baryonyx, if I'm not wrong. Why is it so hard to open? Yep, it's a T-Rex. So that's cool. I definitely prefer to display it as a T-Rex rather than a um, Ankylosaurus because I'm more of a carnivorous dinosaur fan. What about you guys? Let me know. Do you guys prefer herbivores more or carnivores more? Let me know down below. Let's get the claws out. Okay, gorgeous stuff. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hopefully it can stand because you have to adjust it to the perfect position before it can stand. Beautiful. Tyrannosaurus Rex and Ankylosaurus. So if you ask me, Dilophosaurus versus Oranosaurus. I don't think the Oranosaurus will lose to the Dilophosaurus so easily because Oranosaurus is actually pretty big and strong. But of course, Dilophosaurus has its venom, so it's quite hard to say. Let's choose another two for a battle. How about this two? A Triceraptor and Iguanodon. Let's place them right here. Um, a Triceraptor, yes, I have brought one over here. Let's place this one right here. And um, Iguanodon, just give me a second while I pick it up. Okay, so this is the... Okay, this is actually not the sound strike. I mean, it works like the sound strike. But it actually came along with the Scorpio Vanator, so wow. Atrociraptor versus Iguanodon. I am going to go with the Atrociraptors because they are actually quite powerful raptors. They're pretty strong, much stronger than Velociraptors. And I feel, you know, Iguanodon doesn't have any armor, doesn't have any defensive weapon, so it definitely fall to prey to the Atrociraptor. I mean, I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know down below. Okay, next up, shall we transform another one? How about this one? Let's transform this little egg into a dino. You know, I love this fierce changes. Hopefully, we're able to get more new species. I think that would be cool. Like a Brachiosaurus, I think that would be pretty awesome. Or a, um, I would love to have a Gigar, definitely. Okay, Gigar is actually one of my favorite carnivorous dinosaurs right now. So right here. Okay, okay, I have a question for you guys. Which is your favorite hybrid? Is it the Indoor Raptor or is it the Indominus Rex or is it the Scorpio Vanator? Not Scorpio Vanator, <laughs> Scorpio Rex. I want you to comment down below, okay? Which is your favorite hybrid dinosaur? If you ask me, I'm gonna go with the Indominus Rex. Let's hear it from it again. Yep, that is my favorite. I mean, not the figure. I mean, as in the dinosaur in the movie. Okay, let's transform one more. How about, let's transform this Stegosaurus into, I think this is a Carnotaurus, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, let's transform it. Okay. Okay, so there you go. Carnotaurus from a Stegosaurus become a Carnotaurus. Love this, the meat eating bull. Okay, let's pick two more for a battle. 
Velociraptor versus Sticky Moloch. Okay, who's gonna win? I want you guys to quickly, quickly. Okay, let's choose the Velociraptor. I think we should have a couple of Velociraptors today. Okay, where is the extreme damage Velociraptor? I think it's right somewhere. Okay, it's okay. Let's let's have this to feature. Okay, Velociraptor versus a Sticky Moloch. All right, let's see. Okay, so who will win? Uh, I'm gonna go with Velociraptor because they are way too smart, they're way too intelligent, they're way too fast. Sticky Moloch may stand a little chance because they're actually pretty tough as well. Then they have this weapon right here. You know, this is actually made of um, 12 to 6, 6 to 12 inch of bone, hot bones, and a uh, pretty tough armor right here. But I feel in the end, the Velociraptor will still emerge victorious. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Okay, and this one is actually a battle damage figure as well. Very cool. Very, very cool. I've actually brought um, an extreme damage Velociraptor. Just, just give me a second, guys. Okay, so now we take a pause because this is the battle damage Velociraptor, right? I want to show you guys another one which is kind of rare as well. It's not easy to find this, this color variation. I got this um, from an online store, okay? And um, here's blue, blue, battle damage. I feel the battle damage figures are quite hard to find. So we have three battle damage Velociraptors right here. And we have two extreme damage Velociraptors. So they're slightly different. If you ask me, I definitely prefer the battle damage. They look so much cooler. What do you guys think? Let me know, okay? So in total, I think we only have five battle damage and extreme damage raptors so far. But still very, very cool. Okay, next up, let's transform the Brachiosaurus into an indoor raptor. Firstly, you have to keep the neck, okay? Open this, like this. Okay. Not too sure which is the right direction. Let's try. Is it this direction? I think so. Very nice. You can extend the arms. Extend them. I'm hoping for them to release uh, more species. I think that would be cool. Like a Spinosaurus. I think that would be really, really awesome. I want a Spinosaurus for, for this. Um, and probably... And a Trociraptor. Therizinosaurus would be very nice as well. And let's extend the tail. So there we go. Indoor Raptor. You know, perhaps you can actually leave the claws, both the claws out. I think it looks actually it actually looks nicer if you do it this way. So yep, for the Indoor Raptor, we have the beautiful Super Colossal Indoor Raptor. I actually rate this as the best Super Colossal figure because it is glossy. Very nice. Okay, next battle guys, next battle. Let's go with Cantrosaurus. Okay, Cantrosaurus versus Postosuchus. Okay, this time I think I am going I'm going to go with the Herbivore as the winner guys. Because Postosuchus, I think it's I mean, I don't think a Postosuchus is stronger than a Kandrosaurus, I'm not too sure. But let I me mean, just check out the number of armor, the number of spikes on his body. This is basically the uh, uh, raw attack Kandrosaurus. Just this tail alo alone will be able to whip and um, inflict serious damage at any predator. So I'm gonna go with the Kandrosaurus as the winner for this battle. I'm not too sure about you guys. I want you guys to comment down below. And this is a Savage Strike Poster Suitcase. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Let's transform another figure. Transform this egg. All right. Let's transform this egg. All right. Let's open this. Right, and you have to rotate the body right here. Rotate it this way, and you get a beautiful 
Indominus Rex. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Yep. For the Indominus... Oh, we have two of the Indominus Rex. Yep, yep. I know I have two, but I didn't know I actually brought two. Indominus Rex, yep. That one is the one behind. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Let's have another two more battles. Um... Pachycephalosaurus versus a Dimatrodon. I'm gonna put the Dimatrodon over here. Pachycephalosaurus over here. Okay. Um, Dimatrodon. Okay, I didn't bring a Dimatrodon because I want to show you guys the latest one, which is the Adiphosaurus. Strike attack. Beautiful figure. I mean, it's sort of some sort of like, you know, it's closely related to Dimatrodon and Pachycephalosaurus right here. This is the, um, I can't even remember, I think it was Legacy Collection Pachycephalosaurus. So Pachycephalosaurus is known as the Thick Skull Lizard. It has a huge head right here, very strong bones right here, very strong and dense bone that can inflict very, very serious damage. And this is the Adiphosaurus. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Pachycephalosaurus as the winner because if the Adiphosaurus tries to attack the Pachycephalosaurus, he can basically, he or she can basically just ram into any part of his body, you know, without any fear. I don't think Adiphosaurus will be able to defend this blow from the Pachycephalosaurus. And if you suffer a blow from the Pachycephalosaurus, you are probably going to get broken bones. So Pachycephalosaurus is the winner in my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Okay. Are there any other figures? Yes, right here, guys. Bonus figure. Bonus figure. This is actually a very, very rare figure. 12-inch Pachycephalosaurus. I don't think you can find this figure anywhere else. Um, somehow, I actually sort of like destroyed this figure a little bit right here. I bent the tail too much and it caused some, some wear over here. Yep, it's okay. It's okay. Let's move on to the next transforming figure. Let's transform this. The Lophosaurus. Okay. Transforming these figures are actually very fun. At least to me. To me. Okay, you have to flip this over. And you can open the jaw. They look like Snap Squad to me. Beautiful Dilophosaurus. We have two Dilophosaurus, right? We have the um, Epic Battle Dilophosaurus as well as the Transformer Dilophosaurus. So Dilophosaurus is known as the Double Crested Lizard, but the, it is not this two through. The crests are actually these two crests right on top. This through is actually non-existent. Jurassic Park basically added the through to make it look like a fruit neck lizard. It actually doesn't have the fruit. It's basically to make it more exciting for the movie. That's all, that's all. Okay, two more figures for comparison. Let's go with the, um... okay, this is actually the Tritops. We don't have a Tritops, a Margosaurus versus. So in place, I've actually brought the Bistar Hebersaw. Bistar Hebersaw, I'm still not able to get, um, you know, the minifigure. I'm hoping to get it really soon. So, Vista Hebrosaur right over here versus the Armagosaurus. Wow, I think this battle is gonna be really difficult. One, one over here is actually a super huge um, sauropod and the other one is a fearsome theropod. I think the battle is gonna be very, very, very close. It's gonna be extremely close. You know, both dinosaurs are gonna suffer heavy damage, that's that's for sure. Um, I feel this could go either way, so I'm going for a draw. Yeah, because it's, a market source, they are huge. You can definitely whip out at the um, Mr. Hebersaur, that's for sure. But Mr. Hebersaur, they are like a Tyrannosaur as well, so they are pretty, they're pretty ferocious. So, and check, check this out, very cool stuff. I'm not too sure. Perhaps Mr. Hebersaur could win eventually, but it's not gonna be easy for Mr. Hebersaw, that's for sure. Okay, two more battles. Um, Sarcosuchus and Triceratops. Okay, this, this battle is gonna be very weird because I didn't bring a Sarcosuchus. I have brought the Elasmosaurus instead, right here. So Elasmosaurus versus Triceratops, it 
doesn't make any sense so let's scrape this battle but if you ask me i'm gonna go with the triceratops because it is so strong okay so this is a habitat defender triceratops quite a rare figure very huge um it's kind of like hollow but it's very very big and a solid figure i love this quite a quite a, quite a lot triceratops is known as a three horn face one two three horns right here the Lassosaurus is known as the Thin Plate Lizard, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, this is um, uh, epic. This is a Dino Tracker, Gigantic Tracker's um, Lassosaurus. Beautiful, beautiful figure. I love this. This has got to be one of the um, best 2023 figures ever. Top 5. Top 5, definitely. Okay, let's go with um, our remaining figures. How many pairs do we have left? We've got um, Irritator. And, and then Kylosaurus. So, Irritator. Yep, just give me a second, guys. Yep, Irritator, I've actually brought two guys. Okay, check this out. This is number one. This is the Wow Raw Irritator. I love this because I really love this tail. You know, it acts like a propeller. Um, I have brought another one. Where is it? Uh, just give me a second. Hamlin Collection Irritator. Beautiful figure, really beautiful. This one doesn't have the huge tail that um that um the other one has, and the Hammond Collection and Kylosaurus probably the best ever and Kylosaurus figure. Love this figure so much, and you can just check out the tail, one point two, three, three and four. One two three four. Four points of articulation just on the tail itself. Oh, uh, so who's gonna win in the battle? Wow. The Indominus Rex had a hard time. Okay, I wouldn't say a hard time. The Indominus Rex, Rex didn't really successfully cute the Ankylosaurus, you know, on the first attempt. You know, she has to figure out how to flip her over and attack the Ankylosaurus from the bottom and um, just attack the neck. So for the Irritator, I don't think the Irritator has the strength to actually flip the Ankylosaurus over and it's almost impossible for the Irritator to inflate you know uh, a life-threatening bite to the Ankylosaurus because of the spikes on his body and the Ankylosaurus is actually extremely powerful you guys see that it actually swing and hit the Indominus Rex once yeah, so it's very strong. So if the Ankylosaurus managed to hit the Irritator just once, it will inflict serious damage, probably like broken bones to the body of the Irritator. So if you ask me, I'm going to go with the Ankylosaurus. Because the Irritator is not as smart as the Indominus Rex or as strong, it will definitely struggle against the Ankylosaurus. That's my opinion. Okay, I think we have... um. One last figure right here, and it, it doesn't seem to have. Oh yeah, um, let's go with the Lytrosaurus then. Herrerasaurus versus the Lytrosaurus. I don't think this is a fair battle. The Lytrosaurus is such a, you know, it's it's pretty stubborn, it's pretty ferocious, but Herrerasaurus is is smart, it's huge. You would definitely take down the Lytrosaurus easily, of course not without a fight because the Lytrosaurus definitely has a fight in him or her definitely okay so yeah this is all that is all for today's video hopefully you guys enjoy this so just some updates okay some updates okay guys so if you have been following me very closely you know that i actually stopped uploading you know for about a week or so a couple of weeks back and i haven't been really uploading regularly because i'm still recovering from my eye injury i'm i feel a lot better right now but my eye still hurts a little bit um i you know i i met with an accident you know i was hit by a ball during a soccer game and i suffered retina tests and i had two surgeries to actually repair my my test so the test has been fixed test has been fixed so right now um i'm feeling much better but it still hurts a bit and it's been um f five weeks or so since the accident and i'm still on the road to recovery uh my vision is not 
perfect yet. There's a lot of um, floaters that I'm seeing right now. It's basically like the um, you know aftermath of the um, of the eye. So which is why I've been quite inconsistent with my uploads. You know, you know, I usually upload on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So right now, sometimes I only upload twice a week because of my eye. Sometimes I feel really painful, so I would just skip. And you can see from my previous two videos, I didn't really put in a lot of time into the video, which is why um, you know the views of my past two videos haven't been really good. But it's okay, it's okay. So this video, I'm putting in a lot more time and effort into it, and hopefully, you know, you guys will enjoy it a bit, a little bit more. So give me some time. You know, I'll try to upload. I'll try to go back to my normal routine. Uh, you know, from next week onwards, hopefully, you know, I'm feeling fit enough, feeling good enough to to continue making these videos for you guys. And then, I mean, to be honest, that hasn't really been any new figure, so it's really hard for me to create content for you guys as well. So yeah, hasn't been many new figures. So hopefully, things will change. And um, yeah, I'm hoping for a great new year next year. Hopefully, this this month and this this year will pass. Yeah, it's been a really tough few weeks for me, um, you know, in the past few weeks. So hopefully you guys understand. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.